What's up guys, I wanted to show you guys today the choked machine and tool uh, conventional stock for the Mini 14. Uh, I wanted to change up my stock. I had the Hogue on here and I just did not like the Hogue stock because it picked up a lot of dirt and dust and there was always constantly crap all over my rifle. Uh, I couldn't stand that when I was out shooting so I wanted to find something else and uh, switch to wood and then switch to this choked stock. And I am completely happy with this right here. Uh, a couple things to point out with it is much like the Hogue stock, you get a little bit more material right here on the forend. You know with the factory stock it kind of curves upward and kind of gets real skinny up here. Um, I do have their ventilated forend on here as well. It does a pretty good job of protecting your hand up there. I've heated this barrel up pretty good today and uh, you can feel the heat rolling off there but of course your hand is safe. Uh, on the back here the palm swell is much more exaggerated than the uh, factory Mini 14 polymer or even the wood. Uh, it's a really good feel back there. You get back and your hand just fits perfect. I got regular size hands here and uh, fingertip is right where it needs to be. The uh, fit and finish on here is really good. There is no you know, big gaps or anything like that around the receiver. The uh, receiver fits tight to the stock as well. And uh, about that, there was just a little bit of filing that needed to be done over here on the trigger guard area before I installed it. Uh, you, can, you might not be able to make that out, but it was really simple. A couple of seconds with a file on the inside of there to uh, be able to fit the trigger guard back into the stock, and I am in business. Um, again, this is Choke Machine and Tool. Um, I've had a couple of their stocks before, and this actually is just a little bit lighter than the uh, factory polymer, which is very surprising. So that was another big plus why I went with this one because I really wanted this rifle to be as light as possible with running an optic on there. Um, the stock does not come with this cheek rise here. This is aftermarket, this is Matthew's Fabrication cheek rise, highly recommended. Um, and the reason I had that on here is to point out that the comb height on this stock is just a little bit lower than the factory polymer. And so when you're trying to run an optic, you're really basically running off a lower chin weld. Now about that, uh, didn't see this in the picture when I bought it, but it has this, uh, this basically cheek area, cheek rest, uh, which is more, again, like I said, a chin rest. Uh, so that's why I threw on the Matthews Fabrication Cheek Rise. Uh, really good for switching back and forth between optic and irons. Uh, it does come with a nice recoil pad here bolted onto the back. Uh, it is very nice. You can shoot all day long with this rifle. You can shoot all day long with 223 as it is anyway. But some of the Mini 14 stocks did not come with any kind of rubber on the back and it was a hard plastic. But uh, I really like this stock here. Again, it's a little bit lighter than uh, factory. This rifle feels a lot more rifle, uh, a lot more lighter, especially if I pull off this optic here. Uh, it did come with a sling loop instead of uh, well, it has the stud here, but it also came with a sling loop. I modified that just a little bit to run a detachable swivel sling. So again, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a just a little bit closer look at this uh, stock here. I do believe there are pretty much no videos including this stock on, uh, on YouTube at all. I have in rarely any uh, Google images on it. Uh, so I wanted to bring this one to you guys if you're looking at changing out your stock. And uh, it's got, a, I, I believe it's somewhere around a 13 inch length of pool. So it's really nice for uh, the factory stock, if you're aware or if you're familiar, is just kind of a little bit short, especially if you got an older Mini 14. Uh, so this is a good length to pull. If you can see in the magazine well here, uh, there, it just kind of protrudes just a little more than factory. If I put in this uh, little five rounder there, you can see it's kind of recessed, but not by a lot, which doesn't hinder you being able to take the magazine out as usual. And of course with a 30 rounder, you don't even notice it. So again, I wanted to show you guys this stock here because again, there's not really very many videos about it at all, actually. Um, good stock, feels good, feels light, feels much better over stock. Um, highly recommended. Guys, check it out. Bought it on Midway USA. I think it was about 65 bucks and they usually have these in stock. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Guys, appreciate you watching and uh, check back later on. We're doing some shooting with the Mini 14 and uh, gonna put out a review on the Mini 14 here soon. But uh, until then, catch you guys next time.